This day I bring you the message which I titled by the help of the Holy Spirit to change your life forever. Move forward and stop looking back. Hallelujah. The ability to move forward is what is kept many believers behind today. They want to move forward, but they find it difficult to move forward. And if you are having problem on how you can move forward, your answer has come. Solution has come. The word of God that will give you strength to press forward is right before you. As you get the revelation of it, may your life never remain the same. In the mighty name of Jesus. My message today is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. I read from King James Version. The Bible says, it says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. It says, Be not dismayed, for I am the God. He said, I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will help thee. Yes, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. At times in life, you get tired of not being able to be where you really want to be. And you don't even know where to go. You may look at your situation and challenges from every angle of your being. To see if you would be able to get hope, yet no hope. You struggle to find a way of life that will make sense to your life, yet no outcome. The fear of moving forward has become a stronghold in your life. Now you are dismayed. Now your strength is gone. There is no sign of who will help you. But God is telling me to tell you that you should arise and move forward. He said, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. He said, Be not dismayed, for I am the God. He said, I will strengthen thee. Yes, he said, He will help you. He said, He will uphold you with the right hand of His righteousness. And we know that God is a mighty God. God has said it. And that settles it. No man can arise to fight against the word of God. So if God is telling you to arise and move forward, that you should not allow fear to become a stronghold in your life, stopping you from moving forward. So you must arise and move forward. You have to move forward with all thy strength. You have to move forward and seek God with all that might. For the Bible says in Psalm 14 verse 2, it says, The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there is any that we understand and seek God. That means you get to understand that there is a God that can make way where there is no way. You get to understand that there is a God whose name is Jehovah Jireh. You get to understand that there is a God who divided the Red Sea. There is a God who turned water into wine. There is a God who healed the woman of the issue of blood. There is a God who caused a blind man to see again. So no matter what you might face in life, never give up to the challenges of your destiny. You have to make up your mind to move forward. Don't ever make the mistake to dwell in your folly. Remember the story of the young man Samson. When he fell into the hands of his enemy, they pulled out his eyes that he should not see the light of God. But this young man refused to dwell in his folly. This young man called upon God in his folly. And the Lord heard him. And the Lord answered him. And the Lord restored his strength. 
and Samson destroyed his enemy. For the mistake he made, he destroyed his enemy and he died with them. And he did not live to glorify God. What an error. But in your own case, you will not die with your enemy. Upon their dead bodies, you will become what God has ordained you to be. And you will glorify him. In their presence, God will prepare your table. And you will glorify God. No matter your situation, when you call upon God, God will arise. God will deliver you and you will glorify him. You must know that there is a God who liveth and abide forever. There is a God, thou unchangeable changer, who watches over you. He never sleeps nor slumber. You are not serving a dead God, but a mighty God, who is able to turn your mess into a message. A God who is able to turn your test into a testimony. A God who is able to turn your trials into a triumph. A God who is able to turn your victim into a victory. Wherever you are right now, at this point of time, arise and move forward. For God will never allow you to die in your situation. Or allow you to die with your enemy. Because if you died in your situation or you die with your enemy, you cannot glorify God. And God wants to deliver you that you may live to glorify Him. That is why the Bible makes us to understand in Psalm 50 verse 15. He said, call upon me in the days of trouble. He said, I will deliver thee. And thou will glorify me. You see, God wants to do it that you will glorify him. God wants to strengthen you that you will glorify him. God wants to make way for you that you will glorify him. God wants to make your life a testimony that you will glorify him. And we know that God cannot lie. For the Bible says in Titus chapter 1 verse 2, He said, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie. Promise before the world began. Malachi 3 says, For I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. You see, you have to understand that when you made up your mind to move forward, you must not look back. Because when you look back, you will not be able to move forward. Many may say, Pastor, you will not understand. I have looked around, all I could see is confusion on every side. No sign of no sign of hope. No sign that things will soon get better. Pastor, this keeps me worried. I worry in the morning on how I can move forward. I worry in the afternoon on how I can move forward. I worry in the evening on how I can move forward. I worry at night when this cup of sorrow will pass over me. Yet no change. But I want you to know that leave it for God. Don't worry yourself. Leave it for God. Oh, don't cry anymore. Your Jesus is our life. Praise God. Oh, you can face tomorrow. He understands what you are passing through today. Jesus remains the same. He is the same today and forever. He changes not. When you leave it for God, your life challenges will become bread for you. The reason many dwell in their folly is because they are concerned about how many times they have fallen. And the Bible says in Proverbs 24 verse 10, He said, if thou faint in the days of adversity, He said, thy strength is small. You cannot look back and not faint. For all the people that look back, they all faint and cannot dwell and cannot move forward in life. They all now dwell in their folly. Right now they are sitting on the floor, dwelling in their folly, dwelling in their pain. They are crying, oh God, oh what a life. I take one step forward. The enemy knocked me out. I take two steps forward. Situation put me down. And I take three steps forward. There was no strength to move forward. 
I take five steps forward. There was confusion all around. I take six steps forward. I was rejected by men. I take seven steps forward. I was all alone. This time I cannot go anymore. I want you to understand that you can still move forward. For the Bible says in Isaiah 60 verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Move forward, I say, move forward. Move forward, I say, move forward. Do not be concerned on how many times you have fallen. Do not let the devil to set your mind on many times you have fallen. No matter how many times you have fallen, arise, you can still move forward. Arise, for you can still move forward. With all strength, press forward. Move forward. For though the righteous may fall seven times, they shall rise again. I said you shall rise again and move forward. Keep moving forward and don't look back. Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, don't fear any evil, for God is with you. He is your rod and your staff. He will comfort you on every side. Move forward, I say. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. For what is ahead of you is greater than what is behind. Move forward, I say. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward. And I pray that God give you strength and all boldness to move forward. And as you move forward, may you encounter greatness. May you encounter your favor. May you encounter your helper in the name of Jesus. May you walk in your purpose in the name of Jesus. May you become what God has ordained you to be in the mighty name of Jesus. Bye for now with love from Pastor Chris. Amen.